Hello, hello, hello. We're in San Francisco on November the 6th, and this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. And we're at Civic Center here in San Francisco for a save the internet rally to keep the internet open and free, keep net neutrality, uh, and prevent the haves from taking over the have nots. And uh, that's why we're here. And anyway, I'm going to take a walk over. There seems to be a crowd of about 40 people that are gathered just a few steps away. So we'll be working over there in a minute. There we go. Got a nice crowd here, it looks like. As you know me, I'm always hoping for more people. Uh oh, and I see Code Frame over here. He's here as well. Code Frame SF, you can follow him on Twitter. You didn't get my message on Facebook, did you? Uh, I looked at it. <laughs> oh, gotta get one of these puppies. Eventually. We're cheap. Yeah, still not in my budget at the moment. But. Oh, okay, twenty bucks for the this, and then uh, you could get those for eight. The mounts. But I understand. So we got a nice crowd here at Full Moon. To <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> full Moon here tonight in San Francisco Civic Center. I was just talking to Code Frame there, Code Frame SF. There he is. So if you see that guy, beware. No, I'm just teasing. I said if, they, if you see see Code Frame, beware. That means trouble is happening. I have no idea what you're talking about. It was just Code Frame person. Oh, okay. <laughs> So this is uh, part of a, a nationwide series of demonstrations held across the United States. And I see a move on sign. They had something to do with it. I know, and I got an email from Credo. I this. don't remember exactly how I heard about it. I Facebook, probably. Facebook, yeah, everybody's Facebook, Credo, and uh, Daily K uh, okay. Daily Cause. Or right. And they actually got a bigger crowd than what I expected from the count on Facebook because there was like 600 people yeah and there's like at least 60 60 people here now yes crowd guesstimates are our speciality <laughs> uh, we have one job <laughs> that's right how long did yesterday's demonstration go on I see I left about three or four okay yeah, I, did, I didn't want to go in that long march. I mean, I can walk, but I'm not right. not built for long marches at the, uh, yet. I'm getting there. No, they, they marched up here, and then they, uh, most of them marched back. Me and myself, I have cheated. I took the train. Okay. Because these, these shoes aren't made for walking long distances. <laughs> no. No, there's not much of a sole there. Well, there is. They're just hard. <laughs> yeah. Got to get some tennies. Right. Uniform of the live streamer, make sure you have tennis shoes or good walking shoes, and always make sure that you take care of your physical needs before you get started. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. And I did spot a, a bathroom that works over there. Oh, yeah. 
it, I'm surprised it works. Yeah, those things hardly ever work. Beautiful dog, by the way. So we're just getting started here. Got a nice crowd. We're here to keep the internet free. You know, because people get on websites like Facebook and Twitter, and they think that they're on some kind of public forum or something. And uh, no, that's not true. Uh, those kind of websites are actually capitalistic and have very many rules and regulations, and they cooperate with the federal government on a lot of criminal issues. So beware. We could go into deeper than that. Uh, this uh, kind of chronicle chronicles our. We were down at the Googleplex a couple of months ago. For those of you who remember, and uh, we were asking Google to support net neutrality, which they didn't. Uh, surprise, surprise. And they actually had people arrested there. So they weren't very friendly to us. Google, you can stick it where the sun doesn't shine. Well, we got a little photo off here. All right. There we go. Let me get behind you there. All right. Let me see if I can get a. Oh yeah, that and live streaming. All right, let's get started. Actually, that's sort of the entire thing. All right. For those of you just joining us, we're here at San Francisco City Hall and Civic Center with your. Live streamer Freeman Sullivan. I get a little closer, maybe you can see some people's faces. Here we go. A nice little crowd down here. Don't kill the internet. All right, and, uh, the computer up there is saying net neutrality equals free speech. Let me check the chat here. Okay. Just let me know how I'm going out. Yesterday I was streaming and then all of a sudden I lost everybody that was watching. Hey everybody, let's start with a chant. Okay. What do we want? Net neutrality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Net neutrality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Net neutrality. from 4 million Americans across the across the country asking the FCC not to give in to paid prioritization to allow cable companies to discriminate, yes. censor and block the internet. Thank you. And what do they give us? They give us paid prioritization. Shame. 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 Say that again. Shame. 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 It's shameful. Shame. After 4 million Americans break the FCC's records of public engagement, 
the FCC chooses to listen to the cable lobby time and time again. That's why we're here. That's why we're here in San Francisco. That's why we're here in White in the White House, in Boston, in Philadelphia, and 30 other cities across the United States right now. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Woo! All right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you all for coming out. Um, you all know the reason why we want to save the internet. And that's because the internet is such an important resource for public engagement, for civic action, and for organizing actions like this. Education? Yeah, for education. And if we lose the internet, we might not ever get it back. And so that's why we're out here right now. And I want to ask uh, my, my, my colleague, Tracy Rosenberg, to come out and, and speak to you all. Um, Tracy?
junk this thing if we make them junk this thing. And the way that we're going to make them junk this thing is probably in the streets. Well, what we're calling doing podcast. tonight is the right yeah. thing. Stop we're subscriptions. calling bullshit when we see it. And we're saying we're not going to compromise the internet away. We're not going to do that. Because frankly, either it's public internet or it's not. There is no in-between. There is no compromise. There is no partial reclassification. There is no imaginary legal strategy. All there is is public internet or private internet. All there is is the fast lane and the slow lane or the same lane for everybody. All there is is one internet or two internet. That's all. It's really, really simple. And the amazing thing is you can read 20 pages of complicated tech crap from every telecom policy lawyer in the country, and it all means exactly the same. There's only one way to go here. It's the internet as a public utility, as public property. And if they're confused over there and over there and over there and over there, we have to unconfuse them right now. It's just say, take this crap, throw it in the garbage, and save the internet. Because the reality is, the internet is open now, and it's working. It's working so well that none of us can afford to live here because it's making so much money. <laughs> <laughs> it's working just fine. Leave it alone, preserve it, protect it, stop it. We are the <laughs> world! Hey, thank you there, Gail. Say hello to everybody in Maine for me. So, yeah, we're here to shine a light on the corruption that's going on in Washington, D.C. right now. Time and time again, we've called on Tom Wheeler to do the right thing, and he just hasn't listened. And so that's why we're here. We have insiders in Washington telling him, hey, Tom, you need to do this thing. Four million Americans already broke the record that the FCC has set, and we've already broken the record of how many people have talked to the FCC, demanded that the FCC uh, take net neutrality into consideration, and he's not listen to us at all. And so that's why we're here to shine a light on that corruption, to shine a light not only on the corruption in the FCC, but also in the White House right now, in that the president is not listening to us. He's not listening to our demands to tell him to either tell Tom Wheeler to give us net neutrality or demote him because he's not doing his job and he's not fulfilling the campaign promises that President Obama promised us in 2008 to protect net neutrality. And so that's that's the reason why we're shining a light today in San Francisco. Not only in San Francisco, but at the White House, in, in, in Boston. 15 cities, 15 cities across the country. Not only 15 now, but 30 City cities. Girls? Yeah, it's 30 cities across across the United States. Over 20 states right now are rallying up and starting this, and this is just the start. We're going to keep going, and we're going to keep moving in the streets to tell the FCC that we can't lose the internet. We can't lose the internet. And the FCC needs to know that the, inter that the internet needs to stay free, it needs to stay open, and net neutrality needs to be preserved. And so, thank you all for coming out. Um, let's end it all with a chant. Um, okay. I'm, I'm not done. I got oh, one yeah. second. Okay. I got one more round. I'm going to explain it. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to end my spiel with a chant. <laughs> uh, and then after, after Tracy can talk again. Um, and then we can do some more photos, okay? Um, so, um, so I think there's a couple of things that people need to know. So I'm going to share this information with you guys, and hopefully you're going to take it and share it outside of here. And each of you is going to tell me if you're 100 or 200 or 1,000, depending on how many Twitter followers you have. You need to speak up. Okay, sorry, I've been trying Maybe to. Maybe next time. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to share some info with you, not just so that you guys will know, but so that you'll share it with your Facebook friends and your Twitter followers and your Reddits and your subreddits and all the rest of it. So please get this information. First of all, um, so what's really going on here? Tom Wheeler used to be the head of what particular industry group? Anybody know? Comcast. Well, not exactly. Telecom? And CTA, cable, cable company, all of them. In Comcast, Charter, Cape, uh, Time Warner, the whole bunch. Of course, they're all turning into, into, into one now, but at least at the moment, they're separate companies. What else? Because it's not just cable. Anybody? Satellite. The wireless companies. 
NTIA. So you've got someone who was the industry head of not just one industry group, but two of them, wireless and cable. So we should understand who's pulling the strings. Where, where is this compromise coming from? Nobody thought that we would ever get 3.7 million comments or 4 million comments. Nobody thought we'd even come close to it. The only thing that's ever gotten that, that much tension at the FCC is Janet Jackson's uh, Janet talk. Jackson. But um, <laughs> <laughs> no, really, that's what we beat. That was the most commented on proceeding in, in FCC history as we demolished them. But that goes to show you. So they, they never expected this. And so it upset the traditional Washington Beltway conversation, which is basically about how do we do something that's in the middle between where these two groups are trying to push us. So this compromise came from, and I want to be honest about this, it came from our side of the fence. It came from people who were playing not to lose rather than playing to win. They said, well, you know, Verizon, AT&T, all the lobbyists, what we need to do is throw them a couple of bones and then maybe the worst won't happen. And the problem here is the bones that they're throwing are our internet and the ability to keep it open and available to everyone on an equal playing field. That's a really big bone to throw. So the good news is, so the folks that did this were well-intended, but dead wrong. And they weren't looking at the tea leaves, which is the American people don't want stupid bullshit coverage. That's why four million of them wrote in to say, don't do it. And some good things have happened. The ACLU came out today and said, no compromise. No compromise! You say, Guardian, what you guys, before you even gathered on the front page of the newspaper, awesome. we saw that story and said, you know, there might be 30 people here. What are you guys doing? We just called this thing two days ago. And they said it doesn't matter, it's important. They put it on the front page of the international press before it even happened. <laughs> the San Jose Mercury News came out two days ago with an editorial from the editorial board saying junk the compromise. Uh, Meetup has said this, Kickstarter has said this. Industry, companies, corporations. So this compromise isn't necessarily going down. So I want you guys to understand that we can win here. This is just beltway, try not to lose politics, as opposed to fight for what you want in politics. And we are fighting for the future, and we are fighting to win. Next thing that you need to know, November 20th, that building over there, San Francisco City Hall, we're gonna hold a people's hearing on the internet, hosted by the city of San Francisco. Only 200 tickets. Um, we need you guys to show up and show up in strength. And that's on the evening of November 20th. This is a hearing. The FCC won't hold them because they don't really want to hear from you. So we're going to hold one anyway. Awesome. We're going to record testimony and we're going to web stream it in their face. Awesome. So November 20th, San Francisco City Hall. It's going to be hosted by the Chief Technology Officer of the City of San Francisco. What day of the week is that? Uh-oh. Somebody help me. What day of the week is November 20th? Thursday. 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 Two weeks from tonight. Two, two, weeks from tonight. Two, two weeks from tonight. God, that's scary. Okay, but it's <laughs> happening. And, and you're all going to come. What time? How do we sign up for the tickets? Okay. Uh, I think it's going to start at 7, possibly 6.30. We still have to work that out with the city. There's going to be a brown paper tickets. Sign up. It should be up and running about two days. Uh, you will hear about it from Free Press if you're on their mailing list. You'll hear about it from Media Alliance if you're on our mailing list. If you're not on any of these mailing lists, then get on one. We're at media-alliance.org. Send you all of the info. But we've got 200 seats and we need every last one of them. Um, excuse me? Sorry. Yeah. Um, to be respectful to everybody here during your class and your, your passion, as a complete stranger, I will apologize to everybody here respectfully as I approach you and interrupt. I guess the way I perceive it, when you're down and out, there's never a right time to actually approach somebody with an issue that's not oh, theirs. No, no. So I have to be a right Let us finish up and then we'll... we'll with we'll that being said, time is okay. of the essence. I don't know if I'll be checked again. So I'll make this really short, and you don't have to respond. But believe me when I say it feels good when you're not invisible going through hard times. I'm not asking for money. I am down and out without independence. I cannot provide for myself. What's your name? I'm just walking in this direction. 
if there's time, if you can sacrifice that, and I know that's a lot, and I've already taken up enough just by disturbing. Thank you for bearing with me and my explanation. You. But if you can buy food for me, that's the way I like to be respectful. I will pause this again respectfully. Okay. Thank you for bearing with me. All right. Thank you. We also have another speaker, uh, Kit, from, <laughs> Kit from EFF. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Before we leave, we want your yeah. visual. We want all those lights. Cell phone, camera, everything. Yeah. 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 Yeah
guys roll. That was great. Yes. Do you all have a spot in the back? <laughs> all right, this is great. Also, if you all have any pictures, feel free to uh, tweet them tonight uh, at uh, hashtag Internet Emergency. a live streamer and other live streamers and you guys are watching an open and free internet is essential for a free and just society so that's it we're gonna wrap it up here let's check out the chat one more time before we go hey everybody Icarus fly again flies again good to see you Anna Lynn we'll say hi to you thank you from Colorado and Gail Mitchell thanks from Maine so we're glad everybody was watching and everybody have a great night this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, from San Francisco, California. Have a good night.